like you have vector dot with another vector what you get would be scalar okay and scalar would have no direction you from one direction dot another one direction you get zero direction if you have tensor two directions dotted with a vector what you get would be a vector you have two directions dot with with one direction you get one direction okay now if you have tensor and then the whole thing here is it vector by itself del is vector by itself v is vector like this when you have two vectors side by side they are not vector they are tensor so the combine here you have tensor okay so when you have tensor two tensors operated with each other when you have two dots like this as a result you get scalar so one single dot reduce direction one step you have one direction and one direction the, sing the single dot product should give you zero direction double dots here means you drop two directions two direction dot two direction comes to zero direction it's just another operator okay but how can we calculate the double dot just don't worry at this moment now if you look into the unit unit of this equation here as I said this term is kinetic energy you have kinetic energy with respect to time so the unit is supposed to be joule per second all over okay by physical meanings this term means the rate of change in kinetic energy in your system or you can say it is the rate of increase of kinetic energy per unit volume in your system because normally kinetic energy is 1 over 2 mv squared but you have rho here that means m over v right but normally you have kinetic energy as 1 over 2 mv squared if you divide it by volume you get 1 over 2 rho v squared so 1 over 2 rho v squared is kinetic energy per unit volume so that means this term represents kinetic energy per unit volume change in your system now this term initially it is related to convection it is momentum transfer into your system by convection if you have momentum dotted with velocity it turns into kinetic energy so this, this term represents kinetic energy change or kinetic energy increase in your system by means of convection so if this term is kinetic I'm sorry this term is momentum added to the system this term means kinetic energy added to the system by means of convection
for this term is pressure times some, some sort of velocity and look into the change by the term pressure times velocity here would give you work but this one is work done by pressure of surrounding on the fluid okay this term should give you rate of reversible conversion of kinetic energy to internal energy this term is rate of work done by viscous force Alright, by physical meanings, each term has its own meanings. But how to come up with these meanings, you need to prove a lot. So at this point, just trust me. Do you trust me? Okay, this is work related to pressure. This is what we call reversible conversion of it, it, the kinetic energy to internal energy that means the flow that's changed convert kinetic energy to be stored in the system as internal energy okay this term is viscous force we are familiar with this term it's related to viscous force but it is work work done by viscous force this term complicated term is called a reversible conversion from kinetic energy to internal energy so this term and that term are related one is reversible the other one is irreversible and the last term is just external work work by external force so if you look into this term rate, rate of work done by pressure and rate of work done by viscous force here these two terms combined would give you rate of work by molecular transport 